Hey guys, how's it going? I know it's been a while. Um, I haven't really had time to work on my pickups just because I've been putting together my new shop. Uh, it was an old potato warehouse, so I did a lot of a lot of work to it and moving stuff over and whatnot. So I've been really busy this winter with that. So I haven't really had much time to work on any of my projects. But finally this week I started working on my flapped out Cummins build. Um, I've been just kind of going through it, uh, fixing some wiring. I haven't really touched it since the PCM video that I posted uh, in September, whenever it was. Um, today, I'm going to show you um, how to adjust your apps in your 24 valve Cummins. And a little hint of what's going to come up hopefully in the near future. <laughs> kind of sick of looking at it on the shelf. I'd rather be looking at it in my engine bay. So I plugged in my scanner and this is a code I'm getting. as a P0122 code. So after we adjust the apps, um, this code should go away and that means that you, you got it. So um, I, with my throttle, I really didn't notice anything. I, I'm surprised that, to see this code. It just popped up um, when I was driving it around and um, idling it or, you know, revving up or whatever. I really didn't notice anything too crazy with the throttle. So I didn't really think I had an apps problem, but the computer says otherwise. So it's probably good just to adjust it to be safe and get this code cleared. So the next step is to get to our actual apps so we can start adjusting it. And in order to do that, we're going to have to take that black cover off that's located on the, the front of the motor on the driver's side. Uh, mine didn't have a cover on it. Uh, I think it's just a bolt up here and then one in front. And then we're going to pop that off. And then it'll be six 10 millimeter bolts that we're going to have to get off. And then this whole thing should come right out. And we're not going to mess with any of the throttle linkages or anything like that, so don't even worry about that. So we'll just take those 10 millimeter bolts out. Okay, so here's my apps right here. You're going to want to go ahead and unplug the harness from it. And I have that right here. And you're going to want to find the blue and black wire. And I just shoved a nail in there. Something small, paper clip would work. I couldn't find one, so I took a little nail. And that's the wire that we're going to test. So we can go ahead and plug the harness back into the apps. And then we'll start checking our voltage and then seeing what's going on. And I think I already know my problem. I was looking for the adjustment screw right in front here. I didn't even have one. So I'm guessing that is the cause of my problem. So I just found a bolt in the shop and I put that in there. So um, I think that's actually my problem. So we'll, we'll set this back to where it needs to go. The next step requires your key to be in the on position. Um, so I went ahead and turned my ignition on. And then you can see my nail there that's probing the wire that we have to test. And I got my negative on my negative terminal here, and I'm just going to touch that nail. And then that's what I have for voltages. So that's 0.227. Um, we want to be around the 0.58 mark. There's a sticker on the back that has the recommended volts that it needs to be at. Um, Mine didn't have it, so I'm just going to ballpark it around 0.585 is kind of what the usual kind of sounds like. I'm going to start adjusting the set screw right here to where I'm at the 0.58 mark. Um, normally you want to be, you want to get to like where the recommended volts are and then you want to back off your screw half a turn is what's recommended. So to increase my voltages, I'm just going to... Go righty tighty on this, tighten it up. So this is where I'm at now from tightening it. I'm at 0.343, so we gotta keep tightening it. Okay, so I'm at 0.578 volts. Um that's close enough. Uh I'm gonna back it off to about 0.56. And that should be good. Once again, read the sticker on your apps. If you have a sticker, I don't. So I got to kind of go off of what I've been seeing um, is the regular or, you know, the normal or whatever. So I'm just going to assume it's 
uh, 85. And now I'm at 0.565, so I'm going to call that good. I'm going to pull my nail out and uh, just get everything buttoned back up. Pretty simple. And then we'll go check the codes again. Okay, guys, so moment of truth here. We're going to read the codes and see if it went away. And I only have three codes. And that looks like it's a job for another day. And yes, it did go away. Thanks for watching my video on how to adjust your apps on your 24 valve Dodge Cummins. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. And subscribe for more videos. A lot more work to be done on this pickup. So we'll see you next time.